Hi, this is Cameron with the Burnside team at Keller Williams Real Estate. On today's video, we are gonna talk about appraisals. This has been a hot topic and I've heard a number of you ask me questions about this in the last couple of weeks. So I wanna go over a couple of points that are really important for you. If you're looking to sell your home or perhaps even if you're looking at buying your house, what you should be considering as far as the appraisal goes. So what is an appraisal? Let's break it down very simple. An appraisal is when the lender is hiring an appraiser to go out and give an opinion of value on the property. So for people that are getting loans, that's something they have to have done. There are occasions where there'll be what's called an appraisal waiver, and that's if someone's putting enough down payment, their credit is good enough that the appraisal will not be necessary. That happens rarely though. In most cases, you're gonna have to deal with an appraisal. And in the past, because our market has been trending upwards so well, appraisals really haven't been much of a problem. But as we've been getting into this market where we've seen values coming down and things are leveling off, they are becoming issues. So as we kind of look at what a couple of things involved in the appraisal, when an appraiser comes out, he's usually spending anywhere from about 10, 15, 20 minutes in your house. So not a ton of time. He's taking measurements. He's looking at overall condition, but he's not going to get as involved. And when I say he, it could be he or she, of course, there are women appraisers out there. But he or she could be going out and just making sure that you're not having catastrophic problems with the home. The roof isn't caving in. You don't have water in your basement flooding. Those are the kind of issues they're looking for, but they're not going to get involved as an inspector would. So you don't have to worry about condition quite as much, but there are still some issues that play out there. The appraiser is gonna go through, take pictures, measure the home, make sure the square footage is as it should be, and then give this report the value back to the lender. So a couple of questions that come up commonly, can I get my own appraiser? The answer is no. When a home inspector, or excuse me, when an appraiser is going out, they're being hired specifically by the lender. So even if you had an appraisal done a week or a month or a year before that, you can't use that appraisal. It's gotta be someone the lender is hiring to do it. The other question is that people say, well, what happens if the value of the house doesn't come in where it's being appraised? That's been our, probably our biggest problem right now. There are a couple of things that you can do. The first one is that you can actually dispute the appraisal. If you have a real estate agent you're working with or if you're talking with the lender, you can go and ask for a copy of that appraisal. You can see what comparables are used and you can go and look for other comparables to try to find something that will be a good evidence that the appraisal could be higher than what it is. That's a very, very kind of intensive process that you have to go through. It doesn't always work, but it's certainly worth a shot in trying to do that. The other thing that people want to ask all the time is that, should I get an, uh, what's called a pre-appraisal done? So should, before I list my house, should I go and spend some money on an appraisal? Coming back to a previous point, you can't use that appraisal in order to uh, satisfy the bank. In some cases, it could be a good idea if you have a really, really unique property. And when I say unique, meaning if you've got something that's 10 acres or if you've got 10,000 square feet, I mean, it's a house that might have a little bit of difficulty in appraising, it might not be a bad idea to spend some money only because you might get a good sense as to where an appraiser is gonna come in, at least giving you kind of a ballpark idea because you could turn around and share that with an appraiser that comes back and say, hey, I got an appraisal a couple weeks ago, a month or so ago. You might wanna use that in your research and that could influence or help that appraiser as far as his numbers go as well. So it's just something to consider. I've just gone over a few of the items that are involved when it comes to an appraisal. If you have additional questions, or if you need anything, let me know. If you're thinking about getting your house up for sale and you're concerned about value, I'd be happy to run some comparables for free just so that you understand where values are in your general neighborhood. Hope you're having an awesome day. Look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.